Hello, and welcome to the Mindset Podcast. This is your host, Alex Muir, helping you flex your mind, body, and soul. And welcome to the solo podcast series, Mindset Matters. And this episode is brought to you by RadioGuestList.com, the number one free radio guest podcast and talk show guest expert interview booking service on the internet. This episode is brought to you by PodcastGuest.com, connecting podcasters with great guests. Podcasters. Find relevant experts and other podcasters to be guests on your podcast. Experts, guests, and more. Get booked on great podcasts to expand your reach and audience. Podcastguest.com Connects podcasters with experts, authors, and other podcasters to be guests on their podcasts. Disclaimer. All information provided by Alex Muir is of general nature and is spoken from Alex Muir's and his guests' personal experiences and personal opinions on the topics related to fitness, health, and education only. No information is to be taken as medical or other health advice pertaining to any specific health or medical condition. You agree that use of this information is at your own risk and hold Alex Muir harmless from any and all losses, liabilities, injuries, or damages resulting from any and all claims. And we're live. Welcome back to another episode of the Mindset Podcast. This is your host, Alex Muir, helping you flex your mind, body, and soul. In today's episode 76, we're going to be talking about discipline over motivation. Now, what I want to, what I mean by that, discipline over motivation, is that when we're motivated to do something, it may last for a short time, may last for a short while, but motivation wanes over time and it doesn't last. But discipline, discipline is here to stay. And discipline is crafted and created through daily consistency upon our craft, whatever that may be. That might be starting up a new exercise routine, trying to eat better, trying to study more, trying to study more consistently. Uh, It's our discipline that'll carry us into the next echelon, the next level of whatever it is that we are doing in career, personal life, relationships, trying to build connections. It's the dis- daily discipline of what we're doing that will put us in the best position. And so again, today's topic, today's episode is about discipline over motivation. So I want to thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for listening in on the Mindset Podcast and on this episode. And this will be this will be a shorter episode. I was supposed to have an interview yesterday, but I, but I got uh, rebooked and postponed. So I always like to bridge the gap with my content and come up with my own solo episodes in between when there's any gaps in my content. So I appreciate y'all listen, coming in, listening to this episode. And I did talk a little bit about the differences between motivation and discipline. Number one, dis- motivation doesn't last. Uh, number two, discipline does last because you 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 have to put in the daily work and work towards what it is that that is your priority and your discipline helps you craft that consistency in in the area of your life that you're trying to um, maintain consistency maintain focus in that area and it's discipline that helps you do that not motivation motivation it only lasts for a short while the benefits of discipline is it can help us attain our goals a lot faster you know, even when we're not motivated, it doesn't matter. It's our discipline that carries us the rest of the way. It carries us to the finish line. Motivation might last to a certain point. It can get motiv- our motivation might help us get to, you know, a very high level in what it is we're, that we're doing. But it's the discipline that helps get us across the finish line, get us to that next level, get us that next interview, get us that next date, get us whatever it is that we're looking to achieve. It's, it's being disciplined, being persistent and persevering through adversity and obstacles. Um, and some common obstacles to bl- discipline would be not having a game plan in place week over week, day, day after day, of tackling the, your daily priorities. And I hear a lot from people in the personal development space that they, you know, whatever it is that they're working on, they, they do it every day. 
and that's definitely not easy to do. Um, and one thing, especially about fitness, is I always thought that I had to give 110% or 100% of my effort and exertion all the time. And that's simply not the case. No one can do 110% or 1,000% all the time. So in order to be consistent and be stay disciplined, but have that consistency day, day after day, week over week, month after month, year after year, you have to dial back the intensity and you have to start playing with those variables. So there's a fitness YouTuber um, I used to listen to. It was Six Pack Shortcuts back in the day. And this was probably 2010, between 2010 and 2015 or something like that. My, and the gentleman's name is Mike Chang. Now, he has a new YouTube channel now that's just named his name Mike Chang. But the, the channel used to be called Six Pack Shortcuts. And basically, his whole ideology for his fitness was six pack getting it was a shortcut to getting a six pack so of course it was very catchy it was a good marketing ploy to get a lot of young guys attention to get in you know you know good shape fast and his exercise philosophy really worked learned a lot from it but the intensity was so high that you can't i wasn't able to maintain consistency for that exercise routine week over week month after month year after year i was able to do it definitely you know, two to three times a week, but I would need quite a bit of rest in between because the intensity was so high. So now his, my philosophy has changed. This fitness YouTuber, his philosophy changed uh, because he wanted to, he realized that, yeah, you, you can't go all out all the time. You got to, you got to do less on the intensity, 70% effort, but you do that every day and you figure out a way to get a your daily movement in, in different ways, yoga, walking, if you like to go on a run, kayaking, hiking, weightlifting, whatever whatever kind of exercise you want to do. And as long as you find a way to get some sort of daily movement in, movement practice, that will help you stay consistent and that consistency will lead to a daily a daily discipline, a, a, a weekly discipline, a year, monthly discipline and you will see huge benefits and huge rewards by sticking to that. Um, and a big, another big challenge to staying disciplined is variety. Sometimes we get dogmatic and we kind of stay in the same routine for a long period of time, and that can get very uh, your you know your your consistency can wane and your discipline can wane because you need more variety. So that's another thing that I want to tell all, all of you guys is don't ever be afraid to switch things up. Because sometimes when you're trying to do the same thing over and over and over again, you, you'll reach a, you'll kind of plateau in what it is that you're doing because you need to, your body, it's like your body and your mind telling you, okay, this is getting too easy or I've adapted to this challenge. Now I need a new challenge or I need to change how the challenge is laid out. So that's another way for, the, for you to combat stay, having to stay disciplined, different ways of staying disciplined. <clears throat> and something else I wanted to mention was some quotes from two of my favorite favorite people. One is an athlete, one is an actor. The one actor that I was very fond of growing up, uh, Denzel Washington. And I got two quotes from Denzel Washington. Number one, Denzel said, without commitment, you'll never start. Without consistency, you'll never finish. So let me repeat that again. Without commitment, you'll never start. Without consistency, you'll never finish. And goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. Goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. And then Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, one of my other most favorite athletes in the world. Muhammad Ali said, I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. And the fight is one or lost far away from witnesses behind the lines in the gym and out there on the road long before I dance under those lights. The fight is won or lost far away from witnesses behind the lines in the gym and out there on the road long before I dance under those lights. And these quotes illustrate the importance of staying disciplined and achieving success and can help motivate and inspire you to cultivate discipline in your own lives. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is just a short little episode just to give you a taste of what's yet to come for the solo podcast series. 
Mindset Matters. Again, this is episode 76, and I just want to get a quick episode in just to make sure I'm staying consistent on the weekly content. I know based on my posting schedule, this this is kind of this is flowing into the next week, so it'll look like I have two episodes this week, but all good. I, you know, it was a long weekend here in Canada and, you know, you got to get in your family time and I wanted to um, get an episode in for you guys today and it's a Sunday. So, and it's a Sunday at almost nine o'clock at night and I'm like, I got to get this episode out because I, you know, I want to provide value any way I can and I'm going to start experimenting on my Instagram with um, uh, more reels. I've been posting one workout reel a week. Um, and then I want to start doing more audiograms using Anchor. I posted one for the Mindset Podcast series a couple weeks ago. And then I'll post another one for any time I'm about to introduce new guests to get you guys hyped up for the, the next upcoming episodes. So I got some really good guests coming up over the next few weeks that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys on the on the Mindset Podcast. So thank you all for listening. Stay tuned for the for next Saturday, this upcoming Saturday's episode. And I believe this upcoming Saturday's episode is with my special guest to give you a sneak peek. Yep, Dr. Tiffany M. Smith, and she specializes in helping veterans and other individuals with PTSD. Um, her husband was a veteran uh, with PTSD from again serving in the military, and you know, and she shows people how to avoid using medication to combat, you know, PTSD and depression and anxiety and other stuff like that. And she uses other, she's a functional, considered a functional medicine specialist or functional doctor to help with, ta- you know, making sure that your, your nutrition's right, you're, you're getting in enough exercise, but not, not just using medication and focusing on that to be the first thing to try and fix your problem. She looks at everything holistically. Are you sleeping right? Are you eating right? Exercising right? And what does your natural supplement routine look like? So she looks at everything holistically, the big picture, to help you build a fantastic mind, body, and spirit. So again, thank you all for listening. This is episode 76 of the solo podcast series, Mindset Matters. And I'll be posting this tonight. I know I might not get too much traffic on it just because it's late, but I want to get this episode out regardless. And looking forward to y'all listening in to next week's episode with Dr. Tiffany Smith. Take care and have a great night. The Mindset Mission. The Mindset's mission is to empower 30 plus million listeners worldwide to achieve optimal mental and physical health through engaging podcasts, inspiring positive change for future generations. Dear listeners, I thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to the Mindset Podcast. This is your host, Alex Muir helping you flex your mind, body, and soul. And I just want to start off by saying, I appreciate you. I appreciate you listening to this podcast. I appreciate your feedback on my episodes and uh, following the show. And I would like your feedback as well in the form of a short rating and review on Apple Podcasts. Uh, Spotify Podcasts now has a rating and review section. Um, So I would love your feedback on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts. Um, to to help me uh, attract great guests and to help me further the show and uh, develop the show and improve the show. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this uh, episode. And again, uh, you can reach out to me um, to give additional feedback on my, my blog. That's alexandermuir.com slash blog. You can reach out to me on uh, through my Instagram, through Facebook, All my links are in the show notes. And again, I appreciate you and thank you all for listening. Thank you all for listening to the Mindset Solo Podcast Series, Mindset Matters, bringing you weekly inspiration 
motivation, and insight into brain and body optimization hacks. Thank you all for listening. If you enjoyed this episode or this podcast solo series, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, uh, drop a like, rate, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts. Or if you prefer, you can listen on my blog. That's alexandermuir.com forward slash blog. That's A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R dot com forward slash blog. Thank you all for listening and stay tuned for next week's episode. I hope you enjoyed that special guest series episode brought to you by radioguestless.com. If you enjoyed this podcast interview with myself and my guests and you'd like to give me some feedback, please do so by leaving a short review on Apple Podcasts under Mindcep Podcast. That's M-I-N-D-C-E-P, the Mindcep Podcast. On Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you listen to podcasts. And I'll be happy to hear your feedback. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can do so as well on social media or on my blog. That's Alexander Muir, A-L-X-A-N-D-E-R, Muir, M as a Mike, U-I-R, dot com. And thank you for listening and see you all next time.